now we'll do Maxwell's fourth equation but before starting we will define a term what is called as current density for example you have a conductor okay and uh, because of flow of electron a current is flowing across this conductor if you zoom it only one section of it this section if you try to zoom you will get something like this you have a small surface out of which current is flowing let's say the current flowing was i and the current density is i by a okay and we call this quantity as a vector quantity because area is a vector quantity j so this j is called aerial current density or current density simply so if you would represent i in terms of j you can write that the current or the total current flowing can be represented as the current density and dot product of this current density with ds is the small surface or we can say that surface integral of aerial current density okay this is what i also told you in the last part of the lecture that if you are going to derive maxwell's third and fourth equation you remember one thing that in third equation you will have magnetic flux density and in fourth equation you will deal with current density okay this is it now we will use another known fact of ampere's circuit law what that is if you have let's say a current i flowing in a closed loop a current i flowing in a closed loop then the magnetic field which is there inside this loop is related to this current in this form that b dot dl is equals to mu dot i b dot dl is equals to mu dot i or you can simply write i as equals to so we have l is a closed path okay this l is a closed path this closed curve b dot dl is equals to mu dot i ki jagah likh dijiye surface integral to main double integral sign laga leta hu j dot ds you can also put a double integral here also because surface integral means you will integrate along two directions or a surface this is a representation of ampere's circuit law only and now if you use on this the stokes theorem that you can represent the line integral of a vector quantity with surface integral of curl of that vector quantity so you can simply write using stokes theorem line integral of vector magnetic field is equals to surface integral of curl of magnetic field okay and if you equate the two you will get that del cross b surface integrated over close over an open surface is equals to mu not surface integral s j dot ds if you compare the two this del cross b and this mu dot j you will get that actually del cross b is equals to mu dot j okay so this is not maxwell's equation but ampere circuit law in differential form ampere circuit law in differential form and you know that in ampere's law maxwell did a correction that if you have a loop but that loop is having a small boundary of dielectric substance then the conduction current will not flow only displacement current will flow so the topic which we have already discussed in lecture 2 for 
we can say lecture 32 of this whole syllabus and lecture 2 relevant to this unit we have discussed displacement current there and therefore the term including displacement current will also be included because of M, uh, Maxwell's correction so earlier we only had this that curl of vector field is equals to mu naught j curl of magnetic field is equals to mu naught j now we will have to replace this j which is only the convection conduction current with displacement currents also so instead of just writing it as j we will do a small correction is equals to mu naught j plus epsilon naught del e by del t and you remember that this small term is called as displacement current displacement current density and we have seen this in the last lecture okay so this is the fourth Maxwell equation you can uh, relate if you just divide this b by mu naught it will become h and uh, if you just take epsilon naught inside this e it will become d so just doing some cosmetic changes you will get del cross b by mu naught is equals to j plus del by del t of epsilon naught e remember epsilon naught constant with respect to time then only you can take it inside this dt otherwise not otherwise there will be a problem so if it is homogeneous or temporally constant time ke saath constant rata epsilon then you can take it inside so we get because v by mu naught mu naught is constant with respect to space if we consume that then this will become del cross h is equals to j plus d by dt of d where this d this j are vector quantities okay so any form can be given to you in exam or you can use any form so these are all maxwell's fourth equation in differential form differential form and if you include in this j the displacement current quantity as well then it will become the Maxwell fourth equation in integral form so what you can do is you can just try on that uh, that on paper and just drop me a whatsapp message so that I may know that you could write Maxwell's fourth equation in integral form as well fine so that's it so your homework now is it's not a dh it's a homework you just write all the maxwell equation in differential form and in integral form and drop me a text message or drop me the image of it in my whatsapp okay now, now we will discuss uh, the physical interpretation of all these four laws or equations so the very first equation which was gauss law in electrostatics yeah, statics we can say that for so let me write only in differential form which is del dot d is equals to yeah divergence of d is equals to rho and this is your Maxwell's first equation okay and uh, you can write its physical significance as uh, the net outward flux the, the outward flux I should use the term net because it is total outward flux of electric displacement vector through a closed surface. Enclosing a volume, you know that closed surface will always enclose a volume. The net outward flux of electric displacement vector through a closed surface enclosing a volume is equals to the 
the net charge the net charge contained in that volume okay. although in our native language we could instruct it earlier also but this is the formal way of writing physical interpretation that the net outward flux of electric displacement vector across a closed surface or the volume enclosed by the closed surface will be equals to the net charge enclosed within that volume. Okay, This is for first Maxwell's equation and what we are doing is we are writing physical interpretation. So now you can tell me uh, if one coulomb of charge is enclosed in one meter cube of volume, one coulomb of charge is enclosed in one meter cube of volume, then what is the value of divergence of T? You can simply say that it is one coulomb upon volume is one. So one by one is one coulomb per meter cube is divergence of T. So from per meter cube of volume, one coulomb we would see that one electric field will come out which will be because of one coulomb of charge only. Okay. So this is the interpretation for the first Maxwell's equation. Now we have for second which is uh, divergence of magnetic field is equals to zero and it means that the net outward flux of magnetic induction or magnetic field V the net outward flux of magnetic field D through any closed surface. Remember, we are talking about closed surface. This is very important. Otherwise, up Faraday's law of acid defined by Closed surface is important, is equal to zero. Okay. So this is also called as that magnetic monopoles will not exist. Now we'll move on to the interpretation of the third equation, which is what was the third equation? That del cross E is equals to minus time derivative of magnetic field del cross v is equals to minus del v by del t okay so it says that the electromotive force the emf or the electromotive force around a closed path is equal to negative rate of change of magnetic flux linked to the path okay So the EMF around the closed path is equal to the negative rate of change of magnetic flux linked to that path. Actually this you may not be directly appreciating using differential form but when you will write the integral form which is something like this that B dot ds but you were having del by del t of it okay and you relate it to the negative of it with curl of E dot ds which is nothing but it was the line integral right EDL so the line integral of electric field is nothing but voltage so the voltage across a closed path remember we took a closed path is equals to the negative of the rate of change negative of the rate of change of magnetic flux B ke saath A aagya it will become magnetic flux linked to that path okay now we will move on to our fourth Maxwell equation. We will try to 
give an interpretation to that as well. So in differential form, we write fourth Maxwell equation as del cross B is equals to mu naught J plus epsilon naught del E electric field by del T. Okay. Or in, in integral form, when you will write, by the way, that this is a homework, but when you will write, you will get to know that. Uh, in, in integral field, we can write it as H dot DL is equals to um, J plus del D by del T dot TS. Okay. So, ye jo E dot DL hai, uh, E dot DL tha, usse hum bolte hai electromotive force, isse hum bolte hai magnetomotive force, jo H dot DL hai. So, you can relate H dot DL with the current density and the displacement current density. So, you can simply write it that the magnetomotive force Okay, magnetomotive force around a closed path. The magnetomotive force along closed path is equal to the sum of conduction current, which is J. Displacement current, magnetomotive force around the closed path is equal to the sum of conduction current and displacement current through any surface bounded by the path. So, here we add kar lete that this is uh, yeah, I'm writing in continuation current which is passing through any surface bounded by this path okay. so this is uh, the formal in statement of physical interpretation of Maxwell's equation okay so half of the syllabus of this unit is also complete now we are only left with how you can link wave equation or electromagnetic wave equation with these maxwell's equation and find an expression for how energy would be carried or how energy would flow when you have electromagnetic waves with you okay so that we will see in the next part of the video thank you so much